Want to find out how we make our videos behind the scenes? In our last video, I talked about the Zion Smooth Q Stabilizer and the importance of balancing it. And in this follow-up video, I'm going to show you how you can use a large phone and a mic setup and how to balance all of that so that you can create fabulous, smooth videos with great audio. And we're starting right now. These videos are for people like me, who are not geeks, don't understand techie stuff that well, but still want to create great videos. If you watch to the end, I will give you an extra super non-geek hack. So if you're new to my channel, start by subscribing now by hitting the red button under this video and clicking on the bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. So as you know, we use an iPhone 7 Plus for our videos and to get good audio quality, we use two types of mics, one wired and one wireless. Now the problem with that is that when you use it with a stabilizer, as I said last time, you have to put the phone right up against the stabilizer here and that means you can't actually fit the microphone into this hole here. The iPhone 7 S Plus weighs in at 188 grams and the Xeon SmoothQ stabilizer can carry a maximum weight of 220 grams. So we can load another 32 grams of weight and here is how we use that extra weight to balance the stabilizer. So I've used three old Algerian coins and two 2P coins and the total weight of these coins is about 30 grams so we're within the specification. And I've used these particular coins because I have them lying around, they're, they're low value, they're quite heavy and they're also the same size as the end of the Zion motor. And I've used black insulating tape as it blends in with the Zion. So to do this, I've cut a short length of the insulating tape, I've placed the pile of coins on it, and I've wrapped the coins inside the tape. Next, you place the wrapped pile of coins on the Zion motor and secure it with a short length of more tape. But please make sure that you don't tape over the join line of the motor. Or the join line there, and this needs to be able to rotate. Then finish the job off by wrapping more tape around it. When it's finished, it looks just like part of the stabilizer. Now, when I balance the iPhone with the mic, it balances perfectly. A couple of minutes like that, a couple of seconds. There we are, look at that, perfect. Another tip at this point is the cable for the mic. You don't really want it dragging on the stabilizer. And I fix this by sticking the cable on the top of the bottom motor like this. So we've fixed the mic balancing problem, but now of course, as you can see, we can't actually fit the stabilizer back in its carry case. So if protecting your Xeon when you're on the move is important, we've come up with yet another workaround for you. So this time, we attach the wrap of coins using a stick-on piece of Velcro. We bought some Velcro patches for hanging pictures, and these pictures weigh about 1.8 kilos, so they should be strong enough for the stabilizer. What you do is you stick the Velcro on the stabilizer and the other piece on the wrapped coins. And this way, the counterbalance can be removed and the Zion fits into its case. So, as promised, here is your super non-geek hack. Basically, as you'll find, it's all a bit of a fiddle getting the phone into the right place on the Zion. So, what I suggest you do, when you've got it in the right place, you draw a line with a pen or a pencil, either will rub off, and this will indicate where the Xeon needs to be positioned for the next time. It's not going to upset your phone, you can easily rub it off. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and you may like the first one in the series too, so have a look for that. And guess what? We will be having another non-geek hack for this type of equipment very soon. Next time, how to use a GoPro with the stabilizer for some really great effects for your videos. So I'd love to have you following me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course on my Facebook pages. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.